Greetings hobbyists, this is Artisans of Vool. In this video we're having a look at some hidden pie menus in Blender that have some really useful features. So I was recently looking at how to do something with native tools in Blender, and it was quite an annoying thing to do with native tools in Blender, it was a bit long winded. And someone had asked me how to do this without using any add-ons. And I came across this extension, which is free, that has some really useful tools, which you just can't access without it. So to get this, just go to Edit Preferences, and then in Get Extensions, just type in View. And we want the 3D Viewport Pie Menus. You'll have an Install button like these do, I've already installed it. And if you go to Add-ons, and this is the important bit, and open this up, you can see what you've got here. And we've got loads of different pie menus that you can select to have on or not. And each one of them has the key combination at the side, or you can change them, which I've done for one of mine. I'll mention which one I've done that for. Now, some of these are just options that already exist. For example, if I select this Add Object and minimize this, we'll see this is Control Shift and A. So if I hit Control Shift and A, we get some of the more typical objects that we would add to this. And you'll notice there is more to bring up the rest of the menu. So this is quite a quick way of getting, let's say, a UV sphere if we needed it. Or you just Control Shift and A and bring in a cube, whatever you want. So quite quick and easy, though if you're not using one of these, and you want the more, it's probably easier just to shift an A. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm so used to using this, I probably wouldn't use that one very much. So I've left that not activated. Similar thing with apply transformations, though some people might like this. For example, here, if we just S to scale it up, normally if you control an A, it's got all of your scaling options. So for example, I might want to apply the scale, though to me, this is very limited in difference to when I just hit control and A, and I've got those there, and this has more options. So again, probably not gonna use that one, but if you prefer something more visual and something where you can quickly flick across, this is quite useful. Whereas on the other hand, if we select some vertices and I hit M, I actually prefer having this as a pie menu as opposed to the normal mesh merge options, which is just a table. I can't even tell you why I prefer this one as a pie and the other one not, but apparently that's the way my brain works. Now, what's more important about this is that this gives some functionality that you can't really get easily in Blender without it. And the two that I really want to mention is Mesh Flatten. I think, let's just restore the default hotkeys, this is normally set as A, but I've changed this to Alt and A just because I'm sort of more used to using that as a shortcut. Let's save my preferences. And what that will do is if we select these, is if we go into this sphere and let's say I select a load of vertices, if we just hit Alt and A in this instance, I get the options to change things around. So for example, I could move these all, let's just do that instead, and those. I could do, oh, I just haven't done that in X-ray mode, so let's just X-ray mode to select everything. If I Alt and A, I could select these to go to the origin on the Z axis. So now we've got everything centered. Now, if we don't want everything going all the way to the origin and we don't have to move the origin around, let's say I just want to do it for these, we can Alt A and I can say I want this to move down on the Z axis to the lowest point. So we've got that. So this is really useful if you've got vertices all over the place. Let's just say I've done something like that and I want to re-establish this being a cube. I don't have to play around with this. I can just select there, Alt and A, and say that I want to go to the minus X, and then that one and that one, Alt and A, and say I want to go to the minus Y. And suddenly you've got this back to being a cube. Now there are alternate ways of doing that. For example, if I use something like Snap Base, where I select then G and then B to select it, and then I say in the Y direction, and then Snap to there, but that will only do one vertex at a time, whereas here we can do this with lots of vertices all at the same time. So I can select that, 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 Alt A, and then X minus, and then we've done two at once, and then Alt A, and then Y plus, and then that one, and that one, and Y minus. So, oh, and I just realized that needs to go up as well. So let's go Z plus, there we go, and that one, same thing. So this is just quite nice and quick way to manipulate this. And do remember, if you want to do things quickly, let's say I select that and that, and press Alt and A, and I just go to the wrong one. Say I go to the X plus and move the wrong one. We can always change this down here with our operation box. If it's small, just click it and say, I want to go to the back. So you don't really need to think about which one you're selecting. Okay, that one was right, 50-50 chance. But if it wasn't, I could have just changed it there. 
and that will go to the other side. So I really like this. I think that flattening option is absolutely brilliant. It really speeds up what you could potentially do as opposed to scaling, like for example here, if we did this at the bottom, if I wanted to align all of these to that, I could S, Z, zero there, and then G and then Z that up and start getting it to where it's meant to be. But I think this is definitely, if we just there and Alt A and then Z plus, quicker. So that's that one. Now, as we're scrolling down, I just want to mention one other. This is the proportional editing one. Again, all menus that we've got up in this box here. But I do want to mention that this has the drag option selected. Now, what that means, and this is quite clever, is that if I wanted to proportionally edit, let's say, something here, and I want to do proportional editing, if I just hit O without moving my mouse, that turns it on. You can see this up here. So if I just hit O, it turns it off and on. Whereas if I hold down O and drag, that then brings up my options. So just be aware of that. If that's got that drag option, it means you have to drag at the same time as pressing the button. And finally, the set origin is the one that I actually came and found this for. And the reason for that is that I was asked for a quick way to set origins to points without having to go through a really big faff in native Blender. For example, if I wanted, let's say, my origin on this point, I don't know of a quick way of doing this in native Blender tools without activating these menus. Because if I go to mesh, we don't have an option to move the origin. What we have to do is move the cursor to that selected point, then come into object mode, then go to object, then go to set origin, and origin to 3D cursor, which is tedious to say the least. Whereas with this option, we can just hit Control Alt and X, and I get this menu where we can now move the origin to the selected. So now the origin is on this point, or if we selected, let's say an edge, let's make this easier to see, Control Alt to X and then origin to selected, we get the origin there. And this is obviously very useful because if we want to move the origin there, this now suddenly means that we are rotating around this corner point, which is really important. We can also, if we scale, scale to the corner point. So we want to be able to move the origin around quickly. This will also work if we've got multiple selected. In fact, let's just come in here, select that edge, control alt and X, and then selection. We can also do this here, and you can see how quickly it is to do that. Control alt and X, and now we've got the option to move all of the origins at the same time. For example, I want to move all of the origins to the geometry. So let's move that there, and they've all moved back. Now we could do that with object origin and origin to geometry here. So that isn't completely mind blowing, but I do think it's very quick to do it this way. We also have the option to put the origin to the bottom, which again, very nice. I think that is still an option up here as well. So set origin. Uh, no, we don't have a two bottom there. Actually, I'm wrong. And that's really useful. Let's say I'm drawing something or I'm making something and I want to put it on a plane. So for example, there and then maybe here. I can start using other tools, for example, if I want to align these, for example, hard ops, I've got my set axis and align to, and then I can align these so that now this is on my plane. So that's quite useful. Again, here, this being at the bottom there, Q, we've got this reset axis to align selection. I just scroll to there. I might do a video on that, actually, because there's some really nice hard op functions that sort of add to this really nicely. So anyway, these are these hidden pie menus. Some of them just give another way to look at functionality that's already present in Blender. Other ones give functionality that we can't get without it, at least not that I know of. As always, I hope you found that useful. If you did, hitting that like button would be really appreciated. And if you're not subscribed, hitting that subscribe button and the bell icon means you know when new videos are out. Hope to see you in the next video and have a great day.